Hello, today I'm going to show you some Google search tricks that might help you with your research or in your everyday life. Um, please note this is recorded in November of 2022, so some things may change slightly over time. The first thing I'm going to show you is the verbatim tool. Um, this tool lets you match exact words from the search box, so it ends up working a little bit more like a library database. When you would want to use this is whenever Google is not giving you the results that you want. Um, Google personalizes your search based on your past searches, as well as what the algorithm thinks that you want to get back. Um, sometimes Google is wrong about what you really actually want, so you can use this to make Google do what you want it to do. We can do this quite easily, and we're going to do that by going to Google, and then we can type in whatever we would like. Okay, so if we type in Apple Music Song, the first result we get is Apple Music. Um, but let's say we actually um, wanted something else, like a song about apples. What we can do is go over to Tools, and under All Results, we're going to change this to Verbatim. Okay, so now I actually have some different results. Um, so I still have Apple Music support, um, and now I'm getting stuff about um, the top 100 songs, um, Apple Music Replay, Use Shazam, so I'm getting different results because I forced Google to include all of these words in my search. Um, if I change the word in the search, then I'm going to get completely different results. And again, it's going to match um, what I put in that box. Okay, so if a word is not in that box, it will not show up in the search results. The next trick I'm going to show you is to let you search um, Google to get results only for one specific website. So if you are um, trying to only find stuff from one specific place, like say you want to, you remember a post you saw on Reddit and you only want to search Reddit, you can do that. Um, you can do this with Wikipedia, you can do this pretty much with any site. Um, you can also use this to exclude results from a specific site. So let's say um, you don't want to see anything from Reddit. You can actually um, use this command to exclude that result. So what we can do is type in um, our specific search. So let's say um, that I want to um, search about climate change and I want to see what uh, Reddit has. I can do site colon and then type reddit.com and click that and now all of my results are from Reddit. So let's say I want to exclude Reddit. All I have to do is put a minus sign in front of site colon and so it now says minus site and now it will give me everything except for Reddit. So now I have no things from Reddit. Okay. Um, one way you might use this is if you want to see what somebody is saying about a particular website, you can use the minus site so that you can see what other people are saying and you don't get results from that site. Next I'm going to show you the advanced search function. Um, this is actually a different search page on Google. It gives you multiple search options in one place, so it has a lot of different uses. The easiest way to get to the advanced search site is just to Google that. So Google advanced search. Okay, and then that'll be the first option. And once you're here, uh, what's really nice about this is over here it tells you exactly what you might want to put in the box. So you can do exact word or phrase, all these words, any of these words, etc. Um, one of the nice things that the site or domain command here, this is similar to the site colon thing that I just showed you, um, but here you can do something like um, only search results from .edu's, for example. So I can put in my normal search up here, and then um, put .edu in advanced search, and now all of my results are only going to be from colleges. This is a tool that you can use, um, again, when you're having trouble finding specific things or whenever you just want to look for something um, very specific or um, something for a homework assignment. 
The last thing I'm going to show you is Google's image search. This lets you search by an image. So instead of words in a box, you're going to um, search by an image. Um, you can use this to find the origin of a picture or just to find out more about a picture. So if you're not sure um, what the picture is or what it's about, you can use that to find results. So here we have an image from Flickr. If I want to know the origins of this image, I can use uh, Google's image search to do that. Um, no, you do need either the Chrome browser or an Android device to do it this way. There are other ways to do it with other browsers. For that, um, just Google uh, Google image search and it will end the name of your browser and it will tell you how to do that. But it's much easier to do it in Chrome. Um, so what I'm going to do is right click and then where it says search images with Google Lens, I'm going to click that and then I'm going to choose the image. Okay, and then once you do that, it's going to look for the image. Um, you can um, click this to see web pages that include that image. You can see they've identified the people that are in this image, which would give you um, a way to find out more about it. Um, it also has visual matches. So these are where other web pages that use this particular image. So then you would be able to click on these and see if you can figure out where it came from. You can use this to fact check viral images or, um, as I said, just to try to find out more about an image. Um, sometimes you can even with your phone, if you have an Android, you can take a picture of something that you don't know what it is and then do a reverse image search and see if somebody, if uh, the algorithm is smart enough to tell you what that particular object is. That wraps up this video. If you have questions, please contact your friendly OCC librarians.